One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And before I get into this video, I want to give you guys a big shout out for giving my podcast a lot of love yesterday. You know, I thought I uploaded it at kind of a weird time, you know, where nobody was going to see it. I was a little. I was a little hesitant to put it out, but you guys got it to 100 views real, real fast. Uh, I can only thank you guys, my loyal fan base, loyal subscribers. Make sure to, if you haven't already, to check out the SoundCloud account where we're going to be posting all of Troop's podcasts. And trust me, it's going to be an overrun of podcasts here soon with me and Bailey, me and Bryce, me and Jason, everything in between. And now I know what you're saying, guys. Don't freak out. Don't have an aneurysm. This isn't a video about the AAF, it's not about the Jags, I know, it's crazy, but what we are going to do today that has never been done in the history of mankind, isn't that insane? The history of mankind, there has never been one perfect NCAA March Madness bracket picked until now, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Treeb from Treeb Talks, in front of your very eyes, is going to be filling out a perfect NCAA March Madness bracket, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be the first one to ever do it, and it's going to be right in front of this camera, and y'all can cheer for me in the comment section. Also, you guys can participate against me. If you think that I'm not going to be the first one to have a perfect bracket, you can join Treeb Talks group. Treeb Talks' bracket challenge, ladies and gentlemen. A little fun competition for the subscribers. Let's get at least three people in there to fill out a bracket. Join the challenge. See if you can beat Treeb in uh, picking NCAA basketball games, which you can't. Cause as we've already established, I'm going to be filling out a perfect bracket right here, right now. But if you want to join the group and have some fun with me, the link to that will be in the description down below, and I will pin it in the comment section as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is Treep Talks, filling out the first ever perfect NCAA March Madness bracket. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, the first region we are going to be picking is the East. Number one seed Duke is either going to take on North Dakota State, I think, or North Carolina Central. And that's what that is. Fair warning, too, by the way. I got cocky in the intro. Here, I'm going to break kayfabe. I'm going to break the fourth wall here. I don't know shit about college basketball. The only thing I know is that I really like Syracuse. Syracuse is my squad. So if I got those two teams you know, wrong, that's not who it is. My apologies. But I'm going to pick Duke. Because that's just obvious, Zion Williamson. He's a freak show. I know that. Uh, me and Jay, Jason talked about it uh, in the podcast yesterday towards the end. Talked about a little bit about March Madness. Duke uh, is definitely going to breeze by the 16th seed uh, right off the bat. Coming up next, we got VCU and UCF, the 8th seed, taking on the 9th seed. And you know what? I'm going to take the 2017 National Football Champions, their first ever NCAA tournament berth that I believe they said 15 16 years I'm gonna take them UCF they're gonna win mark my mark it down dude this is the perfect bracket so you might as well just copy it verbatim so UCF's gonna take that one next up we got Mississippi State taking on Liberty now this is one where I am really thinking that this uh I'm picking a bracket buster here but we're gonna skip over that just to make sure that I can be a hundred percent sure when I come back Next up, we got Virginia Tech taking on St. Louis. I'm taking Virginia Tech. And then Maryland against Belmont or Temple. And that's another one where I'm a little hesitant to pick uh, an upset pick. But I'm going to go with Maryland. Now, this game right here is a game that I have definitely really thought about being an upset pick as well. LSU and Yale. Ah, fuck, man. I'm so close to picking Yale. That's another game I'm going to come back to. And then Louisville and Minnesota, I am going to take Louisville, but hesitantly. I want to pick Minnesota. I think that's another one that I think uh, could happen. I'm going to take Michigan State to beat Bradley. So going back, LSU and Yale, do I take the upset? Mississippi State, Liberty, do I take the upset? You know, I got to take one upset. Um, I got to take one upset in here. I'm going to take, I'm going to take LSU to beat Yale. And I'm going to take, 
I'm going to take Mississippi State to beat Liberty. And you know what? My, my upset pick is going to be Minnesota to beat Louisville. So I went back on my two upsets and decided to go with Minnesota instead of Louisville at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. So coming up next, we got the west side of the bracket. Number one seed, Gonzaga, plays a 16 seed that no one cares about. I'm taking Gonzaga. I don't know which either one of those teams are. It just has their initials, man. I don't know. I don't know who those who those are. So, you know, we're taking Gonzaga. Easy. Syracuse and Baylor. Let's go orange. Hashtag go orange in the comment section down below. You bet your ass Syracuse is going to be Baylor. 100%. With all the confidence in the world, Syracuse will beat Baylor. Next up, we got Marquette taking on Murray State. Marquette seems like always one of those teams that you pick, but gets upset, so I will come back to that one. Florida State against Vermont. I'm taking Florida State. Buffalo against either San Jose University or Arizona State, I believe. Yeah, and I'm going to take the 11 seed to, to, to top off Buffalo. Whoever whoever that's going to be, I'm going to take the 11 seed to top them off. Top them off. <laughs> that's dirty coming up next we've got texas tech against northern kentucky i'm taking texas tech nevada and florida that's an interesting one that's an interesting matchup right there oh but i'm gonna take 10 seed florida to knock off number seven wolf pack of nevada so florida uh advances in that one next up we got michigan and montana i'm taking michigan Obviously. Coming up next, we got the South. Virginia against Gardner Webb. Virginia lost to a 16 seed last year. Will it happen again? Will it happen again? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm taking Virginia. Ole Miss and Oklahoma. Two teams that I swear to God you could not have had a more evenly matched game in the NCAA tournament in the first round than Ole Miss and Oklahoma. And uh, that being said, I'm hard, I'm hard to do it, but I'm going to take Oklahoma. I'm going to take Oklahoma to beat Ole Miss. Next up, we got Wisconsin and Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to bust your brackets and bust your nuts because Oregon is going to beat Wisconsin. Number 12, Oregon is going to beat number 5 seed, Wisconsin. Book it. That's that's the upset. Oregon, they've been on a hot fire streak lately. I mean, they've been, they were really bad to start the season, but you know now they're trying to find their footing, and I think they're doing a good job. And I think they're going to knock off Wisconsin at the number 12 seed. You just watch. Kansas State against UC Irvine. I'm going to take Kansas State. Villanova versus St. Mary's. Oh, that's hard. St. Mary's beat Gonzaga in their uh, conference championship game. That's come back to that one. Purdue and Old Dominion. I'm taking Purdue. Cincinnati and Iowa. Uh, whew, that's a hard one. I'm gonna take the Bearcats. You know, I'm always I'm always kind of rooting for Cincinnati low key. So you know, we'll we'll take them. And then Tennessee against Colgate, we're going to take Tennessee. And now we got to go back to Villanova and St. Mary's. You know, I already picked one upset in here with Oregon winning. Ugh, man, I want to take St. Mary's. I think St. Mary's could could shock Villanova. I think that that's, a, that's an upset that I want to do. And you know what? I'm not good. Man. Um, man, this is hard. This is difficult. I'm going to not do it. I'm going to take Villanova. Uh, pff, same region. Oh God! Yeah. They beat Gonzaga, man. I don't know if it's because that's like just a conference foe, but uh, I'm taking Villanova. Oh God, I'm gonna regret that. St. Mary, St. Mary's is gonna beat Villanova, and you guys are gonna come back to this video and be like, Trey, why did you pick St. Mary's? You knew it was gonna happen. Oh Villanova, you scare me. You better win that one. Okay, coming up in the Midwest region, we got North Carolina, number one seed, taking on the 16th seed, Iona. We're taking North Carolina. Next up, we got the 8th seed, Utah State, against number nine, Washington. We're taking Washington. We got Auburn against New Mexico State. We're going to take Auburn to beat them and Kansas to beat Northwestern. And then number six, Iowa State versus number 11, Ohio State. You know, a lot of people want to take the Ohio State upset, you know, and I, I guarantee you a lot of people are going to take Ohio State, which is weird because Iowa State's the higher seed, but, you know, it seems like, you know, bigger school, more people are going to be taking uh, Ohio State. Uh, I'm going to take Iowa State. I'm going to take Iowa State to knock off Ohio State. I think that uh, I like their shooting. They have a lot of good shooters uh, on this team, so I'm going to take them to beat Ohio State. Houston, they're too much on a hot streak to lose to Georgia State. 
Seton Hall and Wofford. Seton Hall and Wofford. What the fuck? How do you expect me? How do you expect me to sit here and pick between Seton Hall and Wofford? Who am I, who am I supposed to pick in that situation? I'm taking I'm taking Seton Hall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? We're taking Seton Hall. And then we're taking number two seed Kentucky, ladies and gentlemen. So now we got our round of 32, and we will be picking that next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in my round of 32, who do I have making it to the sweet 16, ladies and gentlemen? First up, Duke and UCF. I've seen this matchup so many times with people taking the UCF upset, but... Uh, I think Duke's going to run wild to at least the Sweet 16, so sorry UCF fans. I And UCF Jaguar, if you're watching this, I apologize, but I'm going to take Duke over UCF. Coming up next, we got Mississippi State against Virginia Tech. I'm going to be taking Virginia Tech. Next up, we got Maryland and LSU. I think this is where LSU kind of gets shot. Ah, man, I like LSU, though. I don't really... I'm taking LSU to beat Maryland. Never mind. Next up, Minnesota and Michigan State. Upset alert. Upset alert. Maybe. I'm coming back. No, I'm taking Michigan State. Michigan State to beat Minnesota. Then up next, we got Gonzaga and Syracuse. And I'm taking Syracuse over Gonzaga because why would I not do that? And it looks like I did not pick one. Oh, I didn't pick them. Oh, I did. I ended up not picking the Marquette Murray State game. I'm taking, I'm taking Murray State. I think that that's the, uh, that's the upset. So, so next up we got uh, we got Syracuse upsetting Gonzaga, obviously. Last time they played in the tournament, Syracuse upset them. And then we got Florida State taking on Syracuse. And we got Texas Tech taking on whoever the 11 seed would be, Arizona State or San Jose State. We're going to take Texas Tech. Number 10, Florida against number 2, Michigan. I'm going to take Florida on that one. Florida in the old upset to beat Michigan, the number 2 seed. Ah, no, I back out. No, I'm sticking to my guns on that one. I'm taking Florida. Okay, coming up next, we got Oklahoma in Virginia. This is another one I really want to take an upset on, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take Virginia. But one upset I'm going to take is Oregon to the Sweet 16. I'm taking Oregon to the Sweet 16 as a 12 seed. They're going to play Virginia in the Sweet 16. Well, another upset happened. You guys are going to have to find out here soon. Villanova and Purdue. I'm taking Purdue to beat Villanova. I think Purdue might really have an opportunity this year to do something. Then up next, we got Cincinnati and Tennessee. Ooh, I got Tennessee beating Cincinnati in that one. Washington against North Carolina. North Carolina easy. Auburn in Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking Auburn. It's been an off year for Kansas. Ah, no, I'm taking... Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm sticking my guns on that one. Auburn's going to beat Kansas in the round of 32, they've kind of had an off year, and we're going to see Auburn in the Sweet 16. Next up, we got Iowa State against Houston. We're taking Houston. And then Kentucky against Seton Hall. Kentucky will beat Seton Hall. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Sweet 16 is set. We got Duke, Virginia Tech, LSU, Michigan State, Syracuse, Florida State, Texas Tech, Florida, Virginia, Oregon, Purdue, Tennessee, North Carolina, Auburn, Houston, and Kentucky. In the first matchup for Duke here in the Sweet 16, they will be taking on Virginia Tech. And I'm going to take Duke to win that one over Virginia Tech. LSU, Michigan State, that's going to be the last game I pick because I'm really, really hard on that one. And then Syracuse, Florida State. I'm taking Syracuse, baby. Syracuse is going to the Elite Eight. They are. Mark my words. Syracuse is going to the Elite Eight, and then they're going to play Texas Tech in the next round. They're going to knock off number four, Florida State, and then play Texas Tech in the Elite Eight. You just watch. Virginia and Oregon. Coming back to that one, because I'm taking Oregon. Fuck it. I got Oregon in my Elite Eight, and you can't tell me anything. (laughs) And you cannot tell me anything. Oregon, no. man. Virginia's out for blood this year. But I think Oregon's pretty good. I think they could pull the upset. I am taking Virginia. I'm taking Oregon. No, I'm not. I'm taking Virginia. I backed out. I backed out big time. I'm taking Virginia to beat Oregon. Oregon gets to the Sweet 16, which is further than I'm sure a lot of people would have them. So it was a good run. Next, Purdue, Tennessee. 
I'm taking Purdue, man. Like I said, I think Purdue has a really good shot this year, and I think they, they knock off uh, Tennessee in a shocker there. North Carolina against Auburn, North Carolina, and Houston and Kentucky, man. I really want Houston to win this one, and, you know, that's what I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Houston to beat Kentucky. I think that let's see how real deal these Cougars are. Let's put them in the Elite Eight. And now back to LSU and Michigan State. What does Treeb do in this situation? I am going to be taking uh, LSU. Man, I like LSU this year, and I like I like what they have to offer. So that is my Elite Eight. My Elite Eight is Duke, LSU, Syracuse, Texas Tech, Virginia, Purdue, North Carolina, and Houston. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Elite Eight of the 2019 NCAA March Madness Tournament. We got Duke taking on LSU. It's a game I really am having a hard time pick, and I'm going to pick Duke. I'm going to take Duke to the Final Four, and they're either going to play my Orange or Texas Tech, and unfortunately for Syracuse, I think the luck runs out here. I think Texas Tech barely squeaks by and is able to beat Syracuse. So we got Texas Tech and Duke in my first Final Four. I did not think I'd have Texas Tech in my Final Four, but here we are. Texas Tech in my Final Four. And then we got Virginia and Purdue. I got Purdue beating Virginia in the Elite Eight. And then we got North Carolina and Houston in the Elite Eight as well. And though Houston's had a good year and a good run, I don't think the Tar Heels let them get by. So they have lost. So ladies and gentlemen, my final four is number one seed Duke versus number three seed Texas Tech and number one seed North Carolina against number three seed Purdue. Duke, Texas Tech, I think this one is a no-brainer for me. I didn't even think I'd have Texas Tech all the way in, in the final four. So, you know, I'm taking Duke to beat Texas Tech and sending Duke to the championship. And then, are we going to have another typical North Carolina Duke NCAA final? No, Purdue's going to just squeak out the upset. Purdue's going to upset North Carolina, and it's going to be Duke and Purdue in the national championship, ladies and gentlemen. This is the perfect bracket, so you better be ready. You better be ready to see Purdue go to distance and play Duke in the national championship, ladies and gentlemen. You can laugh at me all you want. You know, you know, if you're an expert of NCAA college basketball, you can comment down below all the things you want to say. Oh, there's no way that this would have happened in round 32. Yes, it did. Because Treep from Treep Talks is filling out the first ever perfect NCAA March Madness bracket. So get out of my face for at least a second. So the national championship, we got number one seed Duke versus number three seed Purdue. And is Zion Williamson going to go out in a swan song or is Purdue going to pull up the upset in the national championship? Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what's going to happen. Your 2019 NCAA March Madness champion is Purdue University. You heard that here right, ladies and gentlemen. Purdue is going to beat Duke in the finals of the NCAA March Madness Tournament to become this year's NCAA March Madness 2019 champion and will help me fill out the perfect bracket in the first time in human history. And ladies and gentlemen, that was my perfect bracket for the 2019 NCAA March Madness bracket. Now, if you want to join in on the fun and pick against me, you can go over to the Tournament Challenge on ESPN and join my group, Treeb Talks Challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The link will be down below in the description, so make sure you join to have some fun. And then, ladies and gentlemen, also make sure you don't forget to check the rest of the links down below while you're down there. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks, follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks, or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them to just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.